What's up fam, it's your boy Mohammed Al Safar and we're back with another vlog. Today we got a very cool vlog where I'm gonna do a crazy comparison between two epic sneakers. One happens to be a friends and family and the other is a very similar sneaker to that shoe. Now, before we go ahead and do that comparison, I need to head over to Dubai Festival City and check out on our restaurant. We are opening very soon and we gotta test out some items. So let's go ahead and get this day started. We are at our restaurant, Rainforest Cafe, here in Dubai Festival City, and I'm here to actually test a few food items that we have right before the actual opening. But by the time you guys see this video, we are probably open already and you can come and visit us at the restaurant. So first up, we have the awesome appetizer that comes with some egg rolls, crispy chicken, mozzarella sticks, and spinach and artichoke dip. And now the chimney rolls. Mozzarella sticks. Hmm? Legit. Mm. Just ordered the Brazilian fleas. Let's give it a try. Really good. And I'm not just saying that because this is our restaurant. Here we have the steak ribs and shrimp. One of my favorite items that we have in the Rainforest Cafe, the coconut shrimp. And here we have the filet. Good. Very good. Look at how soft it looks. Crazy soft. And now we have the buffalo wings. And you guys get gloves, do not make it get messy. Let's go see the chefs. Good job, guys. Good job, guys. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent. Very good. Yeah, good job. Good job, guys. And now let's show you guys a look around. First off, I'd like to say I'm really proud of our Rainforest Cafe team here in Dubai and Abu Dhabi. They've been doing an excellent job to get this restaurant open. So as you guys know, it's not really easy to open something during COVID. So that's why I'm very proud of our team and really happy with the results. And now to the main topic of this episode, that sneaker right there. This right here is the $25,000 Travis Scott 4s. These are not the topes. We're about to head to the mall in a second to pick up the topes to get a comparison. But yeah, I haven't seen the topes in person yet. So we will get to see it for the first time together. So let's head down and pick it up. So I'm about to enter the mall right now. We're gonna secure the bag and I'll see you guys in a second. We just got home and secured the bag. And now let's get this comparison review started. And now let's go ahead and see what we have. Okay, so this is my first look at the shoe. And honestly, I think they really did a great job with the taupe haze colorway. It's really nice and uh, it's not really as close as um, the Travis sneakers, but they are really nice. Like for anyone that's not able to get their hands on the friends and family, this is just as good. That's my opinion. But of course, the materials are not the same. Some of the colorway is off. Uh, but if you go ahead and look at it like this, it does look the same. So that's a plus. And that works with me. So I never wore my friends and family pair. So this is a sneaker that I can wear. And if someone looks at it like this, they'll think it's a Travis Scott. But other than that, I know I'm not rocking at Travis Scott, but because that sneaker is never gonna release to the public, I think the Jordan brand saw the demand and took advantage of that to release something like this. So first off, before looking at that sneaker, the materials are totally different. The shade is also different as well. So now let's go ahead and bring the Travis Scott and put these side by side. Okay, so can you guys guess which one is a Travis Scott? 
uh, I think uh, you are probably obviously already know which one is the Travis Scott, but it's not bad like I said. For the people that really wanted to get the friends and family and couldn't, this is pretty good and for the fraction of the price because these go for around $25,000 now and these you can pick up for around $250 which is not bad at all. It's literally 1% of the price. So a difference you guys can definitely tell is of course over here as well. Uh, this is more of a marble finish I would like to say. A mix of two colors right here that's not just a solid black. It's like a brown and a dark brown color I'm not sure if you guys can see and of course the bottom part over here is all black on the on the taupe colorway and on the mochas it comes in white now i believe they did release a few variants of these friends and families and i believe the one that i have and the one that dj Khaled has is identical we both have the all white uh, midsole over here a lot of the other travis scott friends got a different colorway on the bottom i think it was all black or uh, i think like um, an icy black colorway or something like that or a smoky colorway but this is uh, actually the rare colorway that me and Khaled have which is pretty cool another thing of course is a big difference when you come to wear the sneaker on the inside of this friends and family pair it's all quilted leather which is really nice details and of course you got the cactus jack on the back which you're not going to find over there also another thing that you probably can't see properly uh, but on the insole it says cactus jack on this pair and on this pair the state of texas is on there which is really cool so you can definitely tell the colors are not the same but it's not a bad thing they got the jump man on the back of here on one of these pairs like i said earlier it has the cactus jack and another one has the nike air which is he likes going with the og logos on the back of his sneakers whenever he makes them but yeah also the midsole over here is a white midsole like it's a very white midsole this is like an off-white kind of cream finish over here but then again like i said this is still a very very beautiful shoe now i'm sure they could have actually made the exact same color maybe use very similar materials too but the jordan brand has always never wanted to do an exact copy of something that's been a friends and family or like a pe or something like that they want to keep it a little different to keep it very unique for the people that have the friends and family pairs or actually have the pe's in their hands too because if they do something identical that will totally ruin the sneaker market i did spend a lot on the sneaker and i still think it's worth it because this is like a very rare pair and you can really hardly find any even for sale online and of course and this is something that i actually look forward to its release just because now i can wear something that's close to this because this is this is something i wouldn't wear ever unless of course you know me if i had a second pair i'd wear but i really doubt i'd find a second pair of this to be able to wear so this is actually the best thing that i can do and to get as close as i can to rocking these and i'll be rocking these and looking at these another major difference that i didn't talk about is also on the inside the tongue over here it's all red they did stick to the black lining over here which is close to this they're both black but the tongue on the inside of this is red and also as well as the patches this has a brown patch with a red jump man this obviously is a black with a red jump man so you see these kind of things they don't want to make identical like i just said they don't want to really knock off the exact same sneaker so i'm definitely still a proud owner of these bad boys right here and i'm lucky to also have the purple pair as well which technically completes the set of the friends and family fours there are a few different variants with different shades but it's not necessarily made in the exact same size that i wanted so um he did make different sizes and different colorways just because they're actually samples so he was testing out different materials and stuff and things that he can use in the future for himself or for a mass release but yeah we didn't mention the bottoms but also you can already tell this has kind of an orange jump man on the bottom here with that orange part on the top this is more of a red jump man and it's all black this is also a really small detail but you can tell friends and family pair has a mocha color bottom over here where the rest is all black and over here it's of course all black right here and now show you guys a 360 look on these two sneakers <laughs>
that, I'd like to thank everyone for tuning and watching. And if you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure to smash the like button. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And if you guys are not subscribed, make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys very soon.